So you're saying you're in high school. You're doing what most high schoolers do. You're talking to girls. You're trying to be the man on campus. What's the first symptoms? Like, when do you notice, okay, this is not normal. I know I have a limp, but there's something else that's now happening. And, you know, it's like anything else. When things happen to us in life, we don't automatically want to go to worst case scenario. We're like, well, maybe it could be this, or maybe it could be that. What was the first things that happened to you? And then when did you feel, realize like, oh, damn, no, this disease is kicking in? Yeah, and you know what? This is crazy, man. But in high school, my legs started giving out on me a lot, and I would fall What, what year? In, in junior year. This so, is, so this is around 11th grade. 1993, 11, 11, yeah, 11th grade. Uh, even 10th grade, I would, it, was, it was starting actually in 10th grade. Not so much, but 11th grade, then it kicked in, you know, went up a little notch. But I, was, I would literally be walking in a hall from one class to another. My leg gave out, I fall on the floor, people laughing at me, you know, like, ah, ha, ha, ha. And then, but then you had those, and that's one of the things I'm grateful for. I'm, I'm blessed, man, that I always carried myself in such a way that, you know, you're going to have those people that are making fun of you, that are trying to bully you, that are trying to, you know, point at you, laugh at you, whatever. But then I always carried myself in a res such a respectable way that I had a, a good group of friends that really looked out for me, that wouldn't let none of that bullying stuff happen. I wouldn't let it happen, but they would, they would, de they would definitely not let it happen, you know. And, um, and that was a blessing for me to be able to be with those type of people and have them in my circle that would really have my back. But, you know, the, the falling down was a big thing. And then also going up and down the stairs was a big thing. I remember one of my boys, his name was Rob. And um, he would actually, my teachers would let me leave school early to go to the next class to beat the crowd and beat the mm -hmm. rush. So he would literally piggyback me on his back up, up to the second floor of the school to my next classes. And so, you know, just people like that, I was blessed to have around me that showed me mad love, you know, regardless of my condition. What was your self-esteem like? around this point? You know, there was a mixed emotions with that. You know, I always carried myself confidently and, 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 and boldly, but there were many times where my, 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 my self-esteem was very low because my body was underdeveloped. I was very skinny. I mean, I'm skinny now, as you can see, but I was even skinnier than what I look now. And, you know, I would be afraid to go out in public of fear of being fallen, you know, fall from falling down or, or just like not going to the beach or the pool and things like that. Cause I didn't want to take my shirt off. So there was certain situations that I would be in sometimes where it made me feel very uncomfortable and very not confident, uh, you know, with, and having that low self-esteem. But then there was other, you know, other days where I was like feeling like I was on top of the world, you know, but again, I feel blessed because I've, I, I feel like, you know, maybe I was born with this condition that was weakening my body, but at the same token, it was strengthening my mind and my mindset. Yeah, but I got to figure that's something that comes over time. That's that's a mature thought for you. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really thinking because there's somebody now like, you know, for all of us in high school, those are the most awkward years of most people's lives, whether they want to re um, whether they want to admit it or not. And that's why I asked, what was your self-esteem like? Because if everything was perfect, most people are breaking out with acne. Um, people are going through growth spurts, you know, voices changing, you know, you're looking at the Joneses because you think everybody in high school is cooler than you. So th those years are extremely difficult for most teenagers, regardless. Now you have this extra weight on you. So yeah. I got to imagine, you know, your self-esteem wasn't the best to begin with. And this was really hammering at it. Yeah, it was. And, you know, one of the ways, you know, that I, a couple of ways I used to try to mask it was, I remember one time when I lived in, in the Boogie Down, one, one of the OGs on the block was like, yo, dude, as long as your haircut is fresh and you got a fresh pair of sneakers, you're going to be good wherever you go. And so that's always stuck with me. Even when I was able to walk, that always stuck with me. So I made sure when I was in high school, I always had a fresh cut. I always had the fresh sneakers. I would always go back down to the Bronx to go school shopping on Southern Boulevard and Fordham and get the fresh stuff, you know, while everybody else that was upstate was shopping at the local mall, everybody looking the same. I was like standing apart with the fly gear and all of that. So I would try to mask 
my insecurity with the way I looked and the, and some of the things that I was able to get, like the fresh sneakers, the new sneakers and all of that, stay up to date on the fashion. So I would mask it with, with being able to look like that. Cause I always told myself that, you know, I, didn't, I never wanted to give anybody a upper hand on me, so to speak. I, 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 like if you're going to make fun of me, the only thing that you're going to be able to make fun of is my disability. You're not going to be able to make fun of anything else, not my gear, not my haircut, not my looks. I never really suffered from acne when I was younger. So like, thank God, right? Because that would have been, a whole, <laughs> that been a whole other thing, man. But, um, you know, I, you're not going to be able to make fun of anything else but that. So, you know, I was able to stand my ground a lot of times when people try to, you know, make fun of me or do jokes on me right away. I, my whole goal, my go-to was like aiming back at them based off of how they looked. You know what I mean? Cause they couldn't, they couldn't get me based on my looks cause I was always looking fresh. So that would be my first go-to. Um, and then after that, you know, then people start looking at you and then I, it was shut down right away automatically. But yeah, man, you know, that confidence thing, it was like a, it was like a mix. I think I was more confident than not. Mm -hmm unless I was put into a situation which I knew I had to fight confidence. Got you. Did it ever get bad for you, suicidal thoughts, um, deep depression? No, man. Thank God that never Thank entered God. my mind not one time. Yeah, you know. And But there were times where I would say, you know, like, God, if, if you know, I don't want to live like this my whole life. If, if, if I'm going to have to live like this, I'd rather you take me home early. I don't want to, you know, I would, I would, I'd rather you take me home early. I would never think that I wanted to die, but I was always like, all right, God, if I'm going to go out, then you take me out early because I don't want to live like this. What's up, guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love.